your fucking life. Me this night. Now, I had to apologize to everybody that even saw me act out like that. Because it's too big. Let me see. speaking guys i wasn't really shocked at all seeing brian and Ilibaye opening and launching the level one space with their altercation guys i just i just shook my head i said you know what? i'm not even bothered yeah it's the true level one housemates tradition <laughs> to fight to quarrel to bicker and i am here for all of that drama hey welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the tea and on this video i will be sharing with you all about the aftermath of the house swap of the level one and the level two housemates guys there's a lot that's been going on some of the housemates are underwhelmed while some of the housemates are overwhelmed while some of the housemates are trying to fit into their new space and get a accustomed to their new spaces as well some other housemates they are super super excited and over the moon and already on their way to strategizing how they will play their game this new week now aside that relationships are about to be broken up in other words breakfast 101 is about to be served to certain level one housemates and guys it will shock you to find out the particular housemate that is already planning to do such guys <laughs> You know what they say that all these people that are innocent when they want to go crazy their own madness when they get back too it's happening already i'll be telling you all about that as well and other stories if this is your first time coming across my channel thank you so much for stopping by but please do not leave without subscribing all right so to do so just do exactly what you see on your screen now that's one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to become a legit member of this amazing fswg family all right if you're looking for that space where you can share your own opinion and express your thoughts about reality tv shows movies and trending social topics and also get the most detailed factual accurate analysis as well this is the right space for you to be all right so just join the family do all of that and let's get into the video now it's quite interesting but not really shocking to be very honest you know to see Ilebaye and brian opening their new home with some heated altercation you are a fucking fool you are a big ass fool you are a big ass fool and it's because being brought us together that's why you that's why you start me i'm saying this shit you're saying now i don't be on my own it's fool call me to me but i love the fact that brian was not really taking it too deep because if he had trust me maybe somebody might have got a strike last night but the good thing is he was able to handle it in a great way yeah i mean these housemates they still haven't gotten over the fact that beauty was disqualified based on violence yes mostly violence aside or that um rules that she had broken in biggest house so they still haven't gotten over that fact right and so they are trying to caution themselves and somehow also looking out for each other not to allow their fellow you know housemates to get into that kind of trouble so <laughs> the altercation between brian and Ileba, you guys it's something that i had actually foreseen something that i had seen coming a long time even i'm not really surprised that it even happened last night because it should have happened a long time ago yeah so we all know that as at the time that brian was very close to Daniela in the very first week. Towards the end of week one, Ilebaye came into the picture. Yeah, Brian started gravitating towards Ilebaye. Daniela, having been disappointed by that, and then Daniela, who had felt friend zoned, had moved on, and then there was Kali that came into the picture. Yeah. Now, Brian was very, very close to Ilebaye, was spending the night in her bed, giving her massages, back rubs, you know, things like that. They've been cool. And guys, to, to be very frank with you, I was kind of expecting some sort of ship to start sailing between those two people but it was kind of stagnant we were not really sure what they were about are they platonic friends are they friends with benefits are they friends that are warming each other up at night because of how chilly the house could be what exactly was their sort of friendship we were not really sure there was no true definition or even structure if you want to put it that way you know about the friendship so modella had been introduced to the house and to start the circle all over again brian had started detaching himself not completely but gradually from ilibaye and now moving or gravitating more towards modella now initially 
Ilebaye was acting like she was not really bothered about it all, like she wasn't really concerned, you know, but from time to time, we will see her throw jabs at Brian. Now, Brian, who obviously is a lover of beautiful things, is a lover of women with, you know, banging bodies, covetous bodies and all whatnot, was now investing a lot of time in Modella, getting to know her better, even sharing a bed with her, no longer sharing a bed with Ilebaye. And so Ilebaye started getting upset. It doesn't say about a woman scorned, guys. That's how it becoming the situation for Ilebaye. Yeah, and then there were the altercations that she had had with beauty in the house as well. And then, in fact, she was having altercations with people in the house amongst the level two housemates. And then she would be expecting Brian to intercede on her behalf, you know, to kind of um, fight for her sort of. But then when he doesn't, because he's pretty much occupied with trying to woo Modella, that started infuriating Ilebae. <laughs> If you ask me what really started their fight tonight, to be very honest, guys, I don't know because we were not sure. But from what Brian was saying, it was all because Ilibaye wanted a hand massage and he was not giving it to her. And then she got upset. From Ilibaye's own perspective, oh, is it by force to be your friend? Did I tell you I want a relationship? I told you don't come close to me, but you are still coming close to me. So these three people, they have two different narratives as to what really caused their altercation last night. But guys, at the end of the day, we know that every man is their own first advocate. So for me, as a spectator that has been seeing what's been going on, I feel like it all boils down to Ilibaye getting really upset that the one person that she thought was going to potentially be in a ship with her is now chasing some other fine hot chick in the house. And guys, let's not forget that on Sunday, Ilibaye and Modella, they had had their own altercation as well. Not really a massive one, but it had been an issue, kind of very, very flimsy issue that had now blown up, you know, in, into something much bigger. And guys, if you even hear what even cost the altercation, you'll be very, very upset. It was all about edge control. Very, very stupid, annoying thing that caused those two people's issue. It was just so annoying. But then, moving away from that, moving away from that, moving on to the next gist. So, it turns out that Anson from the level one housemate is planning to serve breakfast to a Dekunle. I don't know, but I feel like he might be a little bit deeper than I am. So it's kind of hard for me to now explain like, oh, this is not what I want. I mean, guys, since yesterday morning, it was as if Alison woke up on the side of the bed that says, girl, you have to choose violence. All this, your good girl, good girl that you've been acting in this house, it's not going to pay you. So you have to go crazy. You have to go home or then you go more crazier than you are. Guys, Alison woke up and has been having conversations with Doi on how she is no longer feeling whatever she has with her Dekunle, about how she feels like Adekunle is the one that wants the ship more than her. Like he's the one that is rushing the whole thing. He wants to take it too far. She wants them to slow down. Like she's no longer interested in Adekunle like that. Now she has a new crush in the house and her new love interest is who? None other than Deji. <laughs> hey! Guys, when this girl revealed that, I'm like, what the hell? I mean, Alison, you obviously know that your bestie in that house, your female bestie in that house, Joey, has been working harder than the devil, chasing um, Deji. And currently, they're at a point where Deji is almost going to start reciprocating Joey's energy. So you're seeing all of these things, and you call Joey your bestie in that house, and now all of a sudden, out of the blues, oh, you're interested in Joey, and rather in Deji, and you want to start chasing him as well. Now, this is the nonsense that she's now saying. <laughs> so in order for her to start chasing Deji. She wants to, first of all, clear the coasts away from Adekunle. Like she wants to break things off from Adekunle so that she can have a smooth sail into chasing Deji. Now she's now considering the options that, okay, what do I do? If I break off from this guy immediately, it will look like I'm being mean or something. Or if I decide to stay with him and then still chase Deji, it will look like I'm actually using him. Guys, this girl has been seriously strategizing since morning. I'm like, chai! Yeah, women. The most annoying part is earlier in the day when she was talking to Joey about the whole idea in her head, 
They kept on complaining about a lot of things that, oh, she loves, you know, showing skin. She loves wearing revealing clothes. But now, ever since being in a thing with Adekunle, it seems like a guy is trying to dictate to her how to present herself, how to dress, how to address people, and that kind of thing that she feels like the guy is being very, very controlling. And guys, to be very frank with you, most of the instances that she gave to doing, for me, all I saw was Adekunle just having her back. Adekunle just looking out for her so i was wondering like okay babe if you want to leave this guy just so that you want to leave him all these your excuses they are very very annoyingly flimsy now another thing that's really pissing me off is that this is the same allison that he amazed has made his intentions known to and that she said oh she's not emotionally available that she's not ready for a ship yet they should just be friends they should try to get to know each other then before we knew it she was chasing adequately around in the house She's seen Adekunle around in the house. The guy was on his own though. They were just being friends. But she was giving all the green flags, all the green lights that she wants something more than friendship. And then the guy now, probably buckling under the pressure of people going into ships in the house and, you know, decided to oblige. Okay, this girl is, has been a good friend to me. Let me just oblige and do what she wants. And now, after they've done some little tweaks here and there beneath the sheets, she now wants to leave the friendship or relationship or whatever it is that you're having. She now wants to break Adekunle's heart just to have the freedom to go and start chasing after Deji. You know what, guys? There's a lot more to this story. I just thought I should give you guys an insight as to what exactly is going on. This week is going to be really, really hot. Aside that story, there's a lot more to talk about. So just watch out for my next video and go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Ilebaye and Brian's fight. Yes. And also about... Alison's new plan. Do you think she's being fair to Adekunle or not? Do you think that she's actually doing the right thing? Do you think Adekunle is going to take vengeance on her or not? What are your thoughts? Please go ahead and share with us in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye!